Hello guys, welcome to October and Hot Topics. So in today's hot topic, I really want to talk about the word sexiness in K-pop because recently there's a new variety show called Miss Back where they have like previous hot idol members that came back to share their stories, what happened after the idol thing and share kind of controversial things that went on and, and the group Stellar was known for like that, you know, sexy concept that really shocking thing that shook the wave of Korea, not gonna lie, in the K-pop world but why is sexiness deemed a little bit a shameful in Korea. Why are girls kind of not confident in doing certain type of concepts that require sexiness? And going down some of the uncomfortable outfits that idols wore and if you think these choices were okay or not. So get your snacks ready. I'm drinking my tea with my muffin. Just before we get started, you guys know I really work hard on these videos. Whenever I have a sponsor, I am just so thankful, especially all the viewer support as well. So I just want to say a big thank you to our sponsor for today. You guys know I've been using Skinny Mint for a very long time. One of my all-time favorite from Skinny Mint is Slim Trim and Shake and the gym has been open. So I've been working at the gym, but to get extra protein, I always take this protein shake. But Skinny Mint just released a new detox cherry bomb tea packed with superfoods, antioxidants, vitamin C. It just really helps to wake you up in the morning if you're not a coffee drinker because I quit coffee a long time ago. So I need some energy. So I've been drinking these tea. And look at my beautiful cup I have. This is so big. It says Grace here. And the drink is pink. It's super cute. I'm getting my vitamins, antioxidants. These days I've been eating pretty much anything I want but I replace snacks and like sugary drinks with these teas which is like a really really easy trade-off. Did you know I used to work at a cafe in Korea so I know how to make my drink. All you have to do is get a little bit of warm water, sip the tea in, wait about a minute or two and have a cup full of ice, pour the hot drink in and add a little bit of water if you think it's not enough and, and you have your perfect expensive drink right at your house. So go and make your amazing drinks. Remember to go and click the link and use my code for some discounts below. And thank you to Skinny Mint for sponsoring today's video. So in the new Miss Back series, they have idols that are kind of forgotten to the public now, which is really sad, which I've been talking about on my channel for a long time, about how sometimes it's not such a glamorous thing for K-pop idols. We struggle with finance, we struggle with, you know, having love from the public and so many other things. And some of these idols actually work part-time delivery. Some have depressions and they're just like a lot of things that they share with us. We're going to be sharing and I'm really excited for the series. But anyway, the topic came about when this member, you know, was talking about the sexiness of what she had to do and she was kind of not forced, but they were pushing this concept that she did not want. And if you are Asian or grew up in Asia, you will definitely know that sexiness culture is very different than the West. Like, you know, in the West, we have like Sierra, Madison Beer, Beyonce, Britney Spears used to do that a lot, Cardi B, wop, wop, wop. In the West, female power is really praised. It's really strong and but in Asia it's a little different people like a bit more purity people like innocence I personally think this really has to do with just the cultural differences you know there's no right and wrong here it's just the cultural difference but I do think sexiness is very okay especially for artists that fits it just like Jesse does it Hyuna, Haza and groups that just specifically are meant for this concept but it seems like it's not okay for groups that doesn't fit this concept and seemed like it was just forced or pushed so everyone in Korea knows no stellar music video because it did pretty well but uh, there were so many hate comments towards it because people thought that this was just overly done this was just too much shocker and after that it seemed like the group kind of didn't succeed i guess and they just went downhill from there a stellar member on miss back claims they were heavily influenced to wear these over-the-top outfits choreography concepts and even wasn't told in advance how revealing some of these clothes were going to be and they actually didn't see this clothes prior to the music video or photo shoot which yes, this does happen a lot. There are a lot of times when we don't even get to see the clothes until the day of the photo shoot because the stylist or the company will bring it instead of showing it to the artist because there just might not be enough time. Or sometimes, a lot of the times, artists don't have a say in what they want to wear. But when they saw these outfits, the girls were shocked because these clothes were just over the top, too revealing for them and they felt super uncomfortable and they didn't want to shoot it. She didn't want to shoot it, but the CEO and the staff member said, why see? know before you try it. So she says that the group eventually ended up taking the photos and the company CEOs told them we're not going to use this photo, don't worry. And then later on she found out that this was the main photo that the company used to promote their song. She says that she hates to look at this picture and till this day she's like really traumatized 
But honestly, you guys, I look at this picture and I'm like, wow, beautiful girls. Like they have beautiful body, they have beautiful faces. Their song is great. The main shocking thing for me was that she said that in the seven year contract, they were only paid each less than $10,000, you guys. Think about it, seven years of work, even doing things you don't even want to and receiving less than $10,000. Now her company responded, her old company responded saying that all her claims are not true, that they did receive consent from the girls, that the girls agreed with it and they did agree that this is something that they must do in order to save their career because their career was just like literally going nowhere. So here's one of their outfits from Shochan, which is, which I think it's like artistic and I think it's really nice, but I know that back then this was also a shocker because they're also wearing garda belts Which is known to be lingerie, but I do think this outfit that this girl is wearing is pretty shocking for stage outfits I mean, it's beautiful like she has a beautiful body. She was confident when she was doing this So I plot her honestly and then we have this outfit here where they wore for some kind of like festival event Not gonna lie the short is really short It's not something that I would even feel comfortable wearing this I would rather wear like something like a bodysuit instead of this honestly because this is not a pants this is supposed to be sogot which is supposed to be like a cover up for short skirts or short pants so this outfit is cute this outfit is not bad at all you know i really like this i think this is fine and i think it's pretty beautiful this is a pretty cute outfit mine is when they're doing this choreography of course this outfit is is, is cute again they're wearing like sogot like cover-ups instead of real pants which I think anyone would be uncomfortable if they were something like that. And then we have the music video outfits. I honestly think the girls look so stunning here. Beautiful, beautiful here. But again, a lot of Netizen found this to be forceful. Instead of the girls feeling like it's really them, you know? It feels like it's they're doing something because someone told them to do something. Now, I do understand that sometimes you can't blame the company because... And maybe they just had no other options and they were like, we have to do this in order to at least get a spotlight once in your life. Another idol from Nine Muse, Sarah, says she was told she had to put on guard belts. And she really did not like this because she saw her members who were still in high school wearing guard belts and certain outfits that they felt uncomfortable in and they had to stand in front of the crowd. And there's a video of the Nine Mew CEO being very harsh on the girl. So you know that these girls had to go and endure really, really harsh times. So what is the solution here? Why is sexiness deemed a little bit shameful in Asia? And it's not just in Korea. I feel like this is everywhere in Asia. Asia does not need to have artists like Cardi B go full out WAP. But you know, we could just take away the shame part of it and have females feel confident in what they're doing, confident in their sexiness, in their being a female. It would be nice if the companies, yes, you know, you have to try new things in order to save your group, but at the same time, pick girls that fit for this concept, pick girls that are okay with this concept and are confident. And I remember when I was at a company, when I did things uncomfortable, many times the company will not be supportive. They're, they're more criticizing you for not doing what they're telling you to do. Why are you so shy? why you say no before you try it. If we were just more supported, I feel like we would feel super confident and just own up to what we want to do. Okay, let's look at some of these outfits that deemed uncomfortable for some of the K-pop idols and see what you guys think of these outfits. Number one, we have AOA's outfit here. Now, I do have to say this skirt is just not it. It definitely looks like they were just aiming for like that fan cam. How, do you, how are you supposed to dance to this? You know, I just don't understand. These girls were so uncomfortable when they were dancing to it and this is not a dancing outfit. Maybe it's a photo shoot. It'll be nice for photos, but not for dancing. I give this a 1 out of 10. Holy god moly. We have the worst outfit when it comes to uncomfortable outfits. I don't know who this group is. This location is Dongdaemun. I know this place because I've been there and there's a lot of rookie like companies that don't have a lot of money. They put girls or idols in the stage because it's like one of the free stages you could get on. It's easy to get on here, but it's, it's a nice way to get your name out there because there's a lot of people going walking in by. What is this outfit? Like, what is this pants? It's not even like, it's not even a cover up pants. It's like, this is a, a swimsuit. It's fine to wear a swimsuit, but this does not, it does not match their body fit. It does makes them look super uncomfortable and it's not appealing, first of all. And if anyone makes you wear something that makes you look bad, don't wear it. Just stand up and say, this does not make me look good. What would you do? I would be like, 
Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Then we have a G friend love their new song by the way. I think this outfit is not bad You know, this is this is like a gym short, right? It was a little bit short But I think it makes them look athletic and it's just not bad. Okay, we all know this outfit from twice Dayan and yes, it seems like she's keep covering up. I think this is a beautiful dress It just happens to be a little bit see, steep. What do you call it? Yes, not a lot of k-pop idols wear things that show cleavage It's just not a thing in Asia. I know in the West cleavage is like a thing people show but it's not a common thing and they're close to fans male fans that come but I think it's okay it's a beautiful I don't think the stylist intend this to be like an inappropriate or anything like that I think it just happened to be a bit steeper and I think she just looks beautiful so I think this outfit is totally fine another G friend outfit here now yes when it comes to denim skirts it's really hard to dance in because it's very stiff and when you have any skirt or pants that show safety shorts like this we do feel super uncomfortable because safety shorts are supposed to be just for safety it's not supposed to be actually peeking through so yes one might feel super uncomfortable because especially the stage is up and people are down and they might like see it in this angle so in these situations when you're made to wear uncomfortable clothing what should you do fortunately I wasn't put in the situation where I had to wear super uncomfortable clothing where I felt like I couldn't wear this and if I was in those situations I would tell them that I feel uncomfortable and and I didn't want to and usually people around me were respectful of that but I know that there are people and companies and CEOs that are not going to understand that. Of course, unless you like it and you fit in it, which is totally fine. You might love sexy concepts. You might That might be you. Let me know what you guys have thought about this topic and what you think about sexy culture in Asia or in K-pop. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in my next video.